Barley family, it's me, Detroit Lenny, here to talk a little NFL action. Preseason, week three, we're going to give you a quick little rapid-fire action here. David Delano and Sean Higgs, we each are going to give you a side. Each are going to give you a total. You guys are going to like, share, subscribe. Use that promo code right there, L-E-N-N-Y-20. Saves you 20% off all your picks at picksandparlays.net. All your purchases, I should say, picksandparlays.net where you got to get in on that. So let's get this party started here. Mr. Sean Higgs is going to go over the Dolphins and the Bucks Friday night preseason because we can't just talk about Saturday games because Sean Higgs has got to be difficult. Totals at 37 and a half. Higgs, where are you going with this one? I didn't even realize this was a Friday you game. I was just going through. Nobody's difficult. Yeah, well, yeah. I, I'm, I'm just born difficult. That's at least <laughs> that's what my wife says. You know, this was a thirty. I got that actually a thirty-four and a half here on on on, on the sites. Uh, although, listen, early numbers don't mean anything. I had good numbers last week. I had the Giants five and a half. Doesn't make a difference. But it's it's nice to have a better opening number. But it's no guarantee it's a win. Right. But you see this line kind of go up. It tells me. We're going to see some regular starters, right? I mean, we saw some last week, a couple games, lines move like this. Uh, again, to me, the preseason, we've seen, what, a 26-6 and six under run, a lot of unders, and I think it's a combination of a lot of things. No quarterbacks playing, which I, I hate. I, I hate that they get rid of a preseason game. I hate that they don't do two-a-days. It, it's reflection to the regular season. Scoring is down the whole place. These guys need to play. The total, the fact that this has moved almost three points, I do see some 38s, tells me we're going to see some real offense here. Remember, folks, they still have another bye week before the season starts. So you can't just pull up shop and be like, all right, uh, we're done for, for two weeks. That's not how it works. I'm seeing some points here. I'm going to go over to 37 and a half and buck that under trends. There you go. Over. I like the over 37 and a half here, and I like this for that reason as well. you got to get as much first team reps as possible. Now you got two weeks off with that bye week before you actually start regular season. Over 37 and a half, Mr. Sean Higgs. Ravens, Packers, total 34. David Delano, what do you got here? Dime, or what, 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 duffel bag Dave. That's what we're going with. Duffel bag Dave. That's what we're going with. Yeah, duffel bag Dave. Hopefully we can finish this uh, preseason strong and just letting everybody know. I do have three other plays for the preseason that are going to be my three best bets in addition to these. But looking at this, um, Sean uh, mentioned, uh, you know, we got that 26-6 to 6 run to the under, 26-7 to 7 if your book counted that, maybe that first game. But um, I did give out a pick on the under last week that ended up going over, but most of these have been going under, and that's where I'm going in this one. With the um, under 34, we've had the Ravens. They played two games, 29 points and 25 points combined, 33, less than 33 points in both of the uh, Packers games, coming off of a 27-2 loss. Both of these teams, a lot, a lot expected for them in the regular season. I think that the biggest thing, goal is going to be to be and get out of this healthy. Sean may be on to something with that game going over, with the one that he just talked about there with Tampa Bay and Miami, but – I've got the under here in the Ravens and Packers. I like this under just because I not side note, I like the Ravens just because I, you know, uh, Harbaugh's record in the preseason type situation can't stand the Packers, but that's a side note. Under 34 here, David Delano. Guys, don't forget, like, share, subscribe. All these guys, premium plays. David mentioned this preseason pack, NFL preseason or uh NFL full subscription pack is available. Preseason plays are available. Picks and parlays dot nets where you get all that action. Use that promo code, save you some money. We're gonna go right back to the duffel bag for some more money from Dave. Browns minus two and a half. Seahawks plus one twenty. What are we thoughts here? Yeah, so the Browns here, a uh, pretty decent favorite in the preseason now for the third straight game. Zero and two so far in the preseason. They've been outscored a uh, forty nine to twenty two with both of the games at home. Now they're going out west. Uh, we've got a uh, Seahawks team one and one. Um, they beat the uh, Chargers uh, sixteen to three and lost to the Titans sixteen to fifteen. I think that this uh, this one might be a little bit of an overreaction. Uh, Kevin Stefanski. I know he said that the starters. He's expecting the starters to start, but then he's also said with Deshaun Watson, um, he might make a uh, it might be a late decision. As the Browns fan here, finding it out, I'm hearing even as of today on Wednesday when we're recording this, that Deshaun Watson has some arm soreness. I don't think that he's going to go, and this Browns offense has been um, underwhelming. If, even if the starters you know, do play, 
the Browns defensive starters, you know, they'll be out there a bit, but uh, Denzel Ward also some concussion issues. What I'm getting at here is I just don't buy the Browns being a favorite in this uh, spot. I like the uh, Seahawks at the plus two and a half. And I'm telling people watching this later in the week, I think that this is going to change. I think that um, even if you get Seattle money line for those right. watching it later, because I think that this is going to get closer to about a pick them by game time. I think that we're okay. going to see some movement in the Seattle direction. But for now, give me the Seahawks up plus two and a half. I like that because we record this on Wednesday night. This will be dropping Thursday. So this line could move closer to that. So, you know, we, me and Higgs talk about this all the time. You know, shop your lines. They're early and often. Uh, two and a half from Seattle Seahawks. We're going to keep this party going. Mr. Sean Higgs is going to lie to you guys right now. I'm just going to tell you right now. Steelers minus six and a half. The future Super Bowl champions are plus 250 at home. Sean Higgs, go ahead. You end this whatever way you want. I got this ending. Go ahead. Well, you know, as much as we were talking about my little uh, clown photo on, on Twitter today about the Bears, I, I did say the Lions are in the Super Bowl on that, on that, on that show. You say that, well. you say that I, out loud. I did. I said Lions to Super Bowl. I mean, I pick. got this keyed up for you. And I'm just, this is a three second plug right quick. <laughs> Just got that ready for you for this pick. Go ahead. Steelers by six and a half. All right. So, you know, Dave was talking about his under between the uh, the, the Packers and Ravens there because you have teams are right. we're getting ready for regular season, right? We got the Ravens. Let's go. Week one, Kansas City. Green Bay's feeling good about themselves. Well, Pittsburgh, hello. Uh, they got some issues there. The line went from a three and a half up to a six and a half. Who's a starter? Russell or Fields? The Lions, like I said, they got Super Bowl aspirations. I think, I think they're ready to. They, that's why this line moves. I'm going to get two starting quarterbacks, basically the whole game, right? A half and half probably for both of these guys versus practice squad type players. I'm going to have to lay it here. I'm going to have to lay the big number. I'm going to do a Steelers, and uh, we'll see how we roll there. They, where's the offense been? And, and this will actually kind of go to Dave's Cleveland team because Cleveland was right. the team I had in, in week one. I'm like, I love the quarterback room. And preseason, it's all about who's coming in in that third and fourth quarter against nobody's. And they have four or five quarterbacks that all won NFL games. Like, and they're winless. It's crazy. Like, what would it, oh, we won't play Winston. We won't play Hunley, who won a playoff game for the Browns or whatever. No, no, no. Let's just bring DRT in, who actually won a game. I had him because I was like, over the Niners. They were an underdog versus the Niners. Like, how do you take a team with this guy? How? Cleveland, listen, you you got to get a win on there. You yeah. haven't you haven't won anything to be like I will mail it in. It's like yeah, we won't play Bryce Young like he's like he's uh, Kerry Collins that took you to the Super Bowl or something, Carolina. Like how don't you play? Get a win. You haven't won anything to to, to think I'll you're say, good enough to take a season off or preseason off. I'll say this about preseason: it's very situational, week to week, and who you yeah. want to see and who you don't want to see or whatever. And yeah. I will say this about the Lions. I don't think we see a lot of ones at all. The Lions have big aspirations, and it's 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 the long game for them. So, But teams like Cleveland or teams like, uh, you know, Pittsburgh or something like that, you, you, don't, you don't know what to expect this year. The Lions have expectations that they feel they can lead up to. So I don't see – I don't think we see a lot of ones. Nonetheless, Lions win 72 to nothing over the season. I, I remember the year the Browns went 0-16. I believe they were 4-0 in the preseason. So thank you for what it's I got – I don't know. I got back there, back there on the memorabilia wall. I got a cereal box listed for the Lions when they went 0-16, and, and it lists every game. Lions were 4-0 preseason champs that year. The thumbs up so coming in. Nobody gives a shit about the preseason. <laughs> Good luck unless you're against this. Quick recap. Uh, Higgs is taking the Steelers minus 6.5, and, and he's also taking over 37.5 in the Miami Dolphins and Tampa Bay Buccaneers. That game is Friday action. Keep, keep that in mind. Uh, Seattle Seahawks plus two and a half for David Delano. And he also likes the under 34 Ravens and the Packers. Good luck unless you're against this. Thanks for watching, everybody. And don't forget. We'll see you on the next one.